know we're here the whole time. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. So recently we've had an influx of viewers to this channel. September has been a crazy month for us, which has been great. It's just been banger after banger after banger. You feel me? Actually, I just did upload one that did absolutely terrible, but the next one's going to be a bang. But I've noticed that whenever there's an influx of new viewers, they don't really know what to expect because they haven't been a part of the community for long enough to see what we encompass. We have to initiate you. You are now open. Welcome into the gang. We have to beat you up to initiate you. If you've watched my channel, you've probably come from a reaction and I've been enjoying making reactions recently, but whenever YouTube is so dead dry, like right now, my throat is drier than the Sahara of how dry YouTube is, bro. Back in 2022, 2018, I could hop on youtube.com and spend my whole life there. Back when COVID was a thing, 2021, I used to hop on youtube.com and spend my whole day there, bro. I drained all my aura points, all my VC on youtube.com every day, bro. But nowadays it's like, you you can't even find nothing to watch, bro. Like, but whenever that happens and YouTube becomes dry, I have no choice but to actually make my own content. I have to actually like sit here and talk about my thoughts maybe instead of like critique other people's thoughts or watch other people's content. You know what I'm saying? I can't steal content anymore. If you clicked on this video, it's probably because you're one of those people who wake up at 8 a.m. Or it's because you share the same sentiment as me and you don't understand those niggas. You're tired of them. Also, there's these kids that are outside. I don't know if y'all can hear them, but they keep like, oh, wow, yeah. I don't know. They're playing like tag on the scooters and it's just getting me so tight because it's like, yo, life is not all sunshine and rainbows. My nigga, go inside and study. Study that ass off, bro. I don't care that you're six years old, Melissa. Tag, tag. If you don't go... Tag team that fucking study session. Before I talk about why people who wake up early just get on my last nerve, let me give you all some context of how this thought came into my mind. And I'm terrible at story time, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. About a week ago, I set up an appointment for the gas people to come and fix my gas in my apartment. I recently just moved apartments. And you wanna know how I noticed this? Because every time I step into my fucking shower, my dick shrinks. There's no hot water. Every time I, it's freezing cold, bro. I'm, I dead ass turn into a woman in the shower, bro my dick goes inside itself. I get a vagina when I enter the shower. I'm not playing. <laughs> I don't know what else the gas is supposed to be used for, but I know that it's making me feel like a slave in the dead of winter in Virginia when I enter the fucking shower, right? So I just had to fix it. I set up the appointment. They say, okay, cool. We're going to come between any time between 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. For me, that's a very wide range. I'm thinking, oh, okay, cool. They'll be here like 11. They'll be like, I, I don't know when they're going to be here, right? And when that day comes around, big surprise, the appointment doesn't get done. I don't know what time they came, but they left this on my door. And I woke up at 10, bro. I was up. I did not hear anything. Maybe they came earlier because I reschedule it. And the next time I reschedule it for is on a Sunday, right? And they say, oh, okay, cool. We'll come anytime between 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. I wake up at 9.30. I see another, sorry we missed you notice. We came at 8.30 fucking a.m. on a Sunday. We came at 8.30 a.m. on a Sunday to fix your gas. How exciting. Who the, why the fuck, bro? Why would I be awake at 8.30 a.m. on a Sunday? When I tell you that opening my door to get a package and being surprised by this saying 8.30 a.m. after I rescheduled and the whole time I have not had any hot water, I was human bro because i'm like yo guys can we think a little bit if i missed it twice it's because you're coming at 8 a.m i'm not awake i cannot hear you bro and this got me irritated because it's like this is not just them for some reason in our society everybody wants to be productive at 8 a.m everybody wants to be productive between the hours of 6 through 9 a.m like why societally have we decided that 6 a.m. through 9 a.m. is the peak hours for productivity. Early bird catches the worm, am I right? Why do we think like that? Who's productive at, are y'all productive at that time? Because bro, I am not, okay? I'm chilling. And I get the reasons why people would wake up early, right? Whether it's for class or for school. I used to have to wake up at 6 a.m. to get to school by seven. My school used to start at 7 a.m., bro. And every day I would wake up fuming because all I would be able to think about is, damn, when I get older, man, when I get older, these niggas don't even know I'm not finna wake up till 12. Like, dead ass, that used to, it used to piss me off so much, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But why would something like this, you're just coming in to set up gas for five minutes. Why are you coming to my house at 8.30 banging on my door? 
When I'm sleeping, why are the niggas mowing the lawns outside? They mow at 7 a.m. Why? Why is the trash, the garbage truck, coming to pick up garbage? Banging all these big metal rods all around. 7.30 a.m. Yeah. You're getting me tight. You're getting me tight. You're getting me tight. I just really don't understand it. And then the people who piss me off the most, because at the end of the day, those people do go like making hella noise outside and doing construction work and hammering the roof at 6 a.m. every day. Those people, they they have to do that job. Somebody has told them that, yo, bro, go do that shit at 6 a.m. Somebody has told them, right? But there's some of y'all that you wake up at 5 a.m. for no reason. You you just wake up because you think you're being productive. You, you've seen a morning routine on YouTube and you, th and you thought to yourself, oh yeah, that looks good. At 5 a.m. I'm going to wake up, do cold showers and do push-ups. My nigga, you're an idiot. How do I tell you? Because I know y'all have seen it. Most effective morning routine. First thing I do is I wake up at 4.30 a.m. And I hop in a cold shower. And not only that, I eat nails in my sandwich for breakfast. And then I go outside and do a million calisthenics routine. Who's doing that? Like, I get we live in a society where people just want to be super productive and do everything they can. I get it, bro. Trust me. I'm about to film this video. After this video, I'm about to film two more videos. Why? Because I, I'm going to feel like shit if I don't. I'm going to feel like, damn, I'm lazy if I don't, right? So I buy into it. But why are y'all living someone else's lives? Because somebody on the internet told you to wake up at 5 a.m. and take a cold shower. You're going to wake up at 5 a.m. and take it. Bro, bro, stop dick riding, bro. You're just... Like, stop sucking it, bro. That's why hella y'all be grumpy throughout the day because you're tired, bro. You're not getting you're not getting enough sleep. And that's why y'all be aging. Yeah, it just got me thinking, bro. Because I know people that will set an alarm for 8 a.m. because they want to feel productive. And you know what they do at 8 a.m.? They wake up and they go on TikTok and they scroll for two hours, bro. Wake up at 10. <laughs> wake up at 10. You, you want to feel productive, but what are you getting done? You have nothing to get done, bro. You are not these businessmen in Wall Street. You don't have a job, my nigga. I used to have roommates that would wake up at 8 a.m. and just make hella noise. And they just want to feel productive so they're waking up early. What are you doing? You have no job. When you go to McDonald's, you're ordering the, the secret menu, the $1 burgers. Y'all know about it. What are we doing, bro? At this point, I'm ranting, but it's like you don't even have respect for other countries, bro. Like, why do you feel you're worthy enough to be awake while Australia is awake? You don't give a fuck about Australians? You think Australians are lame? What's your what's your beef with Australians, bro? Go to sleep. It is not your time. It is their time to be awake. There's a reason that the, the sun goes down and the sun goes up there. Because the sun says, go to sleep, my nigga. Or the sun says, wake up, my nigga. And y'all are forcing... Like, bro, it, it makes no sense, bro. I'm, I'm Yeah, I'm done. I'm, I just don't feel like forcing yourself out of your sleep just so you can feel productive. And then making sure that other people do the same as you and abide by it. It makes no sense, bro. I'm curious to see what people say in the comments on this one in the discussion, because I know everybody has their own opinion and their own routine and their own like little thing they got going on. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's mine. That's it for the video. If you like the video, like the video. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. We keep going up 3,000 before the end of September on everything, bro. I'm putting it on all y'all souls. All y'all souls watching this, 3,000 before the end of September. Uh, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.